All right, welcome back everyone. Dr. Ben, not a real doctor here. And today I wanna to share some of the interesting benefits I've discovered after about 10 months of doing Wim Hof Method on a pretty consistent, almost daily basis. So if you're not familiar with Wim Hof Method, quick uh, explanation of it here. 30 to 40 full breaths, fully in, and then you just release the air. On the last exhale, you hold your breath until you have a light to medium need to breathe. And then when you inhale, you breathe in for a full breath and hold it for 10 to 15 seconds. And you go through that, uh, you know, the general recommendation is three to four, but depending on how I'm feeling or how, you know, we'll say motivated I am that day, I'll do less or more. So basically, uh, you may be able to tell from my voice that I'm feeling a little under the weather at the moment, and that gives me a really good opportunity to talk about the first benefit I noticed. Um, so I got some sinus crap going on. The other night I woke up and my throat was just killing me from everything draining, and my sinuses were really congested. And what I've found in 10 months of doing Wim Hof is that it does a fantastic job of clearing my sinuses. Like, three, four rounds of it, uh, a lot of times I won't be able to, well, I won't say a lot of times, when I'm consistent, it's much better, I don't get congested. But if I've taken a few days off, or like right now I'm feeling a little crummy, I'll get a little congested. And usually after as little as two rounds, all that will start to drain. Some, you know, um, the other night when I woke up, uh, basically my throat hurt so bad that I just couldn't sleep anymore, it was like two in the morning. So I got up and I did, I actually did six rounds of Wim Hofing, and if you've only ever done three or four, once you start hitting that five or six range, when you breathe in, the oxygen hits you so hard that you sort of like go to a different place, if you know what I mean. And yet, it's, it's a little trippy, you know? You feel your arms dissolve and kind of everything disappears, but it really, really helps to clear everything out of my head. So six rounds of that, when I woke up, my throat was at a pain level of like, I like to use 10, but we're just gonna use 10 as the max scale because that's as bad as it hurt. After six rounds of Wim Hofing, not only were my sinuses clear and I could breathe through my nose again, also the pain in my throat was down to like a three. And rather than taking you know, ibuprofen or something like that to moderate the inflammation and discomfort, I'll just go do like three or four rounds of Wim Hof and I'll feel a crap ton better and I don't have to take any pills. So that's the first major benefit I've noticed is just the ability to one, decongest, and two, uh, just minimize that pain and inflammation when I have something like that going on. But the big one is doing it regularly, I can always breathe through my nose, uh, excuse me, always breathe through my nose. And that, for me, um, I generally get two or three sinus infections a year that I've just gotten good at clearing up. And I don't really have that issue when I'm doing Wim Hof Method regularly. Now for the next one, I'm gonna borrow the car because this one is an interesting trick I discovered while driving cross country from Virginia to Colorado. So let's go. Now this second benefit comes with a bit of a disclaimer. So you wanna be real careful doing this one because you're driving and you don't wanna pass out while you're driving. That's a bad idea. So use it at your own risk. But this one comes from, I was listening to a podcast years ago and a woman was talking about, you know how you get that kind of sleepy feeling when you're driving and you start to nod off? She said that studies have shown that people actually aren't falling asleep because they're sleepy, it's because they're not oxygenated enough. So I started thinking maybe I could use Wim Hof Method a little bit to kind of counteract that. Now, I'm not doing a full round of Wim Hof. I can hold my breath, you know, as I've gone as long as almost four minutes when I'm doing more controlled rounds. So my standard is two to two and a half minutes. For this version that I'm using to keep myself um, from getting deoxygenated while driving, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do six breaths and then I'm going to, on the last exhale, I'm going to hold my breath for 10 to 15 seconds and then I'm going to breathe in full and hold it for another 10 to 15 seconds. So a very short mini Wim Hof round. And I found that this really, really completely eliminates you know, my potential to sort of get tired while driving. So just real quick, it's gonna look like this.
And I found that that makes a huge difference. I don't get that sleepy dozing off feeling that I, you know, that you can get when you're driving long distance. I drove from Sterling, Virginia to Salina, Kansas, pretty much nonstop. It was about 21 hours of driving when you can uh, account for stopping for fuel and stuff like that. And I never once had an issue of getting sleepy behind the wheel. Again, very careful with that one. You don't wanna push it too far and pass out. Just a few breaths, a few seconds of hold, and then an inhale for a few seconds. Be very, very careful with that if you play with it. Anyway, and for the last one, uh, I'm gonna pop over here. We're gonna stop, I'm not gonna explain this while driving, and I'll share the last benefit I've noticed in a second. Man, it is a beautiful fall day here today. Anyway, the last benefit I've noticed is actually the cardiovascular conditioning. So I don't really train cardio and I haven't trained cardio in a long time. I just kind of let my cardiovascular system develop as a consequence of what I'm doing. So like hours of rock climbing or hiking or whatever, and that's how I do my cardio. I don't train cardio. But what I've noticed is having done Wim Hof for, you know, eight, nine, 10 months now, is that my cardiovascular system is surprisingly well-trained. I recover very, very quickly during workouts, and I have also noticed that as I've held my breath longer and longer, I, how's it going? And as I've held my breath longer, now I've noticed that I actually, I've gotten to the point where I'm having to learn to control my diaphragm contractions, because the diaphragm contractions start like two, two and a half minutes in generally, and I'm not really feeling like I'm starting to stretch the amount of oxygen I'm holding on to yet. So I'm, I'm having to learn to hold my breath longer comfortably to stress my cardiovascular system. And it definitely pays, you know, running around hiking and everything. I don't really get tired. It's, it's been kind of shocking considering that the only sort of training I'm doing is basically the Wim Hof method. So. Anyway, those are the three of the crazy benefits that I've noticed doing Wim Hof for, for almost a year now. Have you been doing Wim Hof for a while? Have you noticed things, benefits that you know, people don't really talk about or put out there? I'd love to hear them down in the comments below. If you'd like to get a hold of me, just look in the order details. All my contact information is in there. Order details. It's like I'm back at the gas company. The video details. If you like the video, smash that thumbs up. If you know someone who might benefit, share the video with your friends. And if you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. But that's all I got for you today. I'm gonna to go enjoy this beautiful day. I hope you do too. Until next time, keep your life in motion.